general season's a few days away. And how are you and how are you guys feeling right now? We feel great. We're excited to uh, step on this field and give our fans a show. What's it been like working with uh, JD? Obviously, he's first year manager and ever head coach. What's that been like? It's been great. I've known JD for a long time. And I know he's a winner. He went to the College Bowl Series every single year that he played as a player. So that's what he expects from us, and that's what we're willing to, to give back. And speaking of expectations and stuff, on uh, teams not super highly ranked in, in preseason polls and stuff like that. Do you guys ever go to that and just say like, okay, like bet, like we're on, you know? Like that. Yeah, well, we don't really look at that now. The only rankings that really matter are the ones that come in June, so like the last ones. So we just take it one day at a time and play the game. Is it? As a man, obviously, everybody wants to compete. Just talk about the competitive level. It's very, very competitive. We have a lot of depth. We have a lot of new guys, a lot of hungry guys, a lot of unproven guys. Um, and everyone's ready. We're ready to surprise the league. Um, I've worked with JD for a while. What's been that experience like now? I, now he it's great, you know. Um, JD's a competitor, and he, and he brings the best out of everyone. And being here for the last couple months, I've I've seen every bit of that. And he's gotten me better, and he's gotten the players around us better. And what's the energy that he's bringing in order to make it to the goal you guys every year should have? Big goal. Yeah, he brings experience and he brings what it takes to win. And whether it's talking to a player individually or to the collective group, he he does an incredible job bringing the best out of the players. A lot of uh, you know, pain on pain work, you know, preseason obviously. Who's been, who's been the toughest pitcher you've faced so far? Um, I mean, we have a lot of great arms. I think people kind of sleep on us when we when it comes to our uh, pitching, but. They're going to find out that we have a lot of really good arms. I think the most surprising for me personally is, is a pitcher from uh, Miami Dade College, Herrick Hernandez, and um, Rafe Schlesinger. They both they've both been bringing it, so I'm excited to see what they're going to do this year. What's it mean for you know the younger players on the team that have got the new transfers coming in that you know be able to be here for you know over a month? You don't go to Indiana, kind of leave South Florida until March 22nd. What's it like being able to stay here? You know, at Mark Light and kind of let them see. It's the best. We have really, really supportive fans. So getting to play here in this beautiful weather and and play for those those fans that care about us so much, it's, it means the world to us. Lucas, was there anything or anything that you can bring from your previous stop to, to teach players here? To, you know, the, all the success that you guys had. Uh, at Wake? Yeah, the one thing that that we did so well at Wake Forest was not look at who we're playing and look at what we're playing. We're playing the game of baseball. We play the game, and that's it. So bringing that mindset over here and, and, and really engraving that culture is, is what I've been trying to do. I saw a little power from you at the alumni game. Do, do you think that's going to continue into the season? Is it something you've been working on? Do you feel like you can, can have essentially your, your best yeah. power number? Yeah, absolutely. I feel like the development here on the hitting side has been phenomenal. Uh, with Darren Fenster and Brandon Brewer and those guys, they've helped me a lot. So I give them a lot of credit. Lucas, you're a Miami guy. You're from here. What does it mean to be able to finally play in these hard games? It means the world to me. It's it, This is the best place in the world, in my opinion. The best fans, the best everything, the best atmosphere. So being able to, to play where I've come to games growing up, it's, it's amazing. Let's okay. do a couple more for Lucas. Is there still like first game jitters or or now having, I'm sure they follow you, but they have your family here at Miami Field. Does that, any emotions come out of that? Yeah, it's, 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 it's beautiful, honestly, because my parents live in, that, in a house that's three miles away from the field. So instead of driving 12 hours to uh, Winston-Salem, they have a nice little eight-minute drive over here. So it, it's, it's really special. Costello, you're no stranger to transferring. You went from Gulliver Prep to Westminster High School and now in the same conference, Wake Forest to Miami. What did you learn in high school that you're going to bring here to Miami now? Um, it's a great question. I think just just the energy that you need to bring every single day um, when you're when you're in a new group of people and, and being consistent with that um, it really shows up on the field and off the field. So just just being consistent, being the same person. Awesome. Thanks, Lucas. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Eight minutes.